Hey everybody, Jason here. I hope you're all doing... So today I want to share with you an iPhone that I just got done recovering data off of. The Carnage here is just a little bit too good not to share. Look at the inside of this iPhone. I don't know the backstory on this, but I'm going to guess that it has spent a little bit of time underwater, but you know... I'm not completely sure. This is by far some of the worst corrosion that I have ever seen in my life inside of a phone. Every millimeter of the inside of this phone has had some sort of liquid damage. All of the connectors are just fully corroded. Everything is just absolutely, completely, totally destroyed. Now, I can't take full credit for the job at hand here. This is a board that was sent here from another shop and another technician has put a whole lot of work banging his head against the wall to get this thing to start up. He was able to get it to start up with working image and touch, but it had an issue whenever you would swipe to unlock where it would take the passcode and then it would, it would go to attempting data recovery and then it would loop with recovery failed. It would just go into the endless recovery loop. And this of course wound up being an issue with the NFC circuitry that I have solved, but I just can't hardly let this go out the door without sharing with you the carnage that I am, am looking at here is what this board looks like in its current state. As you can see, it's just a, a little bit corroded. Any minute we should get, uh, there we go, Apple logo. It is sitting here doing its three minute start restart thing because it's missing sensory. Now, you would think that whoever got this board up and running would have had to replace all the connectors and like, reballed a whole bunch of stuff and did like a whole bunch of work to it, right? It still has all of the connectors, the original connectors right here intact. There is the display connector. So then here's the battery connector. It just looks like complete, total doo-doo. How in the world did this ever work? Here we've got some other stuff removed. So to get this board up and running, the previous tech has removed quite a bit of stuff. Uh, there was some obvious shorts and things here and there. And I mean, there's just, there's stuff all over this board that has been knocked away. And I mean, I just don't, I don't really have the words to describe how screwed up this board is and it still starts up and runs. There's a lot of times where I'm posting videos and others are posting videos where it's like, hey, this tiny little speck of dust killed the Apple product and oh, this tiny little bit of corrosion on the whatever connector killed the whole machine. And the... Dude, this thing is completely annihilated. The board starts up and runs and because it starts up and runs, I went directly after data and I got the data and I'm here to tell you, this is a 512 gig phone and it was showing full on the bar. The Apple backup is around 370 gig. My exported backup is around 340 gig. I have 700 gigs worth of data that I transferred off of this steaming pile of dog doo-doo. Here's the bottom board that used to be attached to that. I'm gonna throw that under the microscope. Isn't that lovely? in all of its glory. This is just beautiful. And this whole entire bottom board is just, everywhere you look, it has gotten wet down between everything. Ooh, what do we have here, fellers? Ah, yes. This is what we've been looking for. We have ball squeezage. So I wasn't too terribly concerned with the bottom board because to recover this, I used a known good bottom board, and this is the board that I used to do the data transfer. So the bottom board pretty well just got tossed straight aside. And uh, having a look at the bottom side of the top board, in its current state, this whole entire board is covered in flux from what I did to it. But before I clean all this off and show you what it looks like in all of its glory, let me just try to give an idea here. You can see that we're missing some stuff here. 
we're missing calves here, 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 here. I mean, we're we're missing gigantic hunks of integrated circuitry. This had to have been really frustrating to do all of this dissection and all of this troubleshooting, one short after another, after another, after another, and then still have to, to send this thing off for recovery. When this first arrived, I looked at this and went, and pushed it right on back and I had to come back to it a while later. I'm gonna go ahead and ultrasonic clean this board because I'm not gonna send it out the door with all this flux on it. And I will show you what it looks like after cleaning. Get this thing put back together, build a customer, get Lambo. You know, I don't think this board has seen enough liquid in its life. I think we need to dunk it underwater. Clean off all my flux before we send it back. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Look at the flux just clouding off of this thing. So any of you wondering, this is a 3% solution of Branson EC in distilled water. Now, after submerging the board in ominous fluid, I like to go ahead and dunk it in more ominous fluid. We're gonna just kind of soak that around a little bit to displace the water. You know, that might not have been ocean water. Yeah, I don't think that was ocean water. Ow, man, it's hot. The ultrasonic cleaner does wonders for cleaning this stuff up. You know, it went from being an unrecognizable mess to being a slightly less unrecogniz unrecognizable mess. It didn't clean it up just completely spotless, but it did take a lot of the rust off of the board. There we are looking at the battery connector, and now we can see why that battery connector actually worked. I mean, so now that I have all the flux out of the way, we can zoom right on in here, and you can see just exactly what sort of carnage the previous tech was up against. This tech had to remove all sorts of chaos madness, and, I mean, this board is in really bad shape. Now, albeit right around the CPU, it's semi-okay, but basically everywhere else, this thing was faced with some pretty massive corrosion. I'm totally amazed that this board was able to start up and transfer the data, and there's just no way I could have let this out the door without showing you all. What are the odds of this board still being able to start up? And then what are the odds of being able to transfer data off of it without replacing a single connector? That is just nuts. So to the technician that worked on this board, my hat's off to you. Uh, you did some serious troubleshooting. You did some serious hair pulling. You got this board to boot. Just look at that SIM tray. So there you have it. I have got this phone fully reassembled in all of its glory. It's missing a couple of screws, but it's going to be just fine. This thing is pretty much good as new. And we're going to just go ahead and close it right on up. I almost forgot the SIM tray. This thing wouldn't have been able to make any phone calls. There we go. I have got this phone all the way reassembled and ready to send back out to the customer. Does it work? Dang it, this thing don't work. Oh, I'm a miserable failure. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is show the previous tech everything that I had to do to get this thing to accept a passcode. 